What's up, Cancer? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys. So the past two months, I was behind. I wasn't able to get love readings out, so I wanted to start with love readings for September month. But you guys will be getting your general reading next, okay? So let's see what is going on for you guys. Now, this will be for sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? At the end of this, I am going to do separate cards of advice for singles and for couples, okay? So please keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everybody, but you guys can always get a personal reading if you want to see specifically what's going on with you. And if you're interested in one, I'll talk about how to get one at the end. Okay, so what is going on with the lovely sign of Cancer? I hope you guys have enjoyed your summer now that it's coming to an end. But I'm in Florida, so it doesn't matter. It's always hot out here. So let's see what's up, guys. All right past, present, and future, what is going on with the sign of cancer in regards to love? Okay. All right, guys. So the energy that we have here is the Eight of Swords in the reverse. If there's anything you felt stuck on, if there's anything you're going to understand, if anything was mentally holding you back from moving forward, you're finally getting out of that place. You're seeing something for what it is. And it's just like you're coming to light about something. Um, for some of you, and let me just turn off my phone or also go off 7,000 times throughout this reading. Uh, reading. But um, if any of you are in a situation where you're seeing someone, you could decide to back out for a little bit because for some of you, I see you not wanting to build something or maybe just not wanting to go in a certain direction. Maybe you and your partner have to make a decision on, you know, choosing a house or something like that. So not moving forward with something, but you do end up being very happy, although you don't move forward with something. OK, so again, it doesn't have to be the relationship itself. It could just be anything, you know, that's going on in the relationship. Now. The first card that we have for the past is the Page of Swords in the reverse. So this is going to be fighting, arguing, you know, a sense of bickering. You know, the Page of Swords is my favorite communicator because it's the most upfront sort of confrontation that you could have with somebody. Uh, but in the reverse, it's people who are saying unnecessarily cruel things to one another. And we have the Three of Wands in the reverse. So when it comes to that sort of communication you're having with someone, you just don't want to move forward in that way anymore. So maybe you just turned your back on arguing or you just turned your back on the situation altogether. And we have the Six of Cups in the reverse, so you definitely put that in the past, okay? Whether it was just a habit or the person altogether, all right? And we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse, so yeah, just continuing the arguing. People not really listening to one another, just kind of yelling over one another. Now we have the Three of Cups. So in this case, it could be some sort of social gathering, something that you're celebrating. So let's see why this is here. You have the Hanged Man. So at this point, you're kind of just going with the flow of things, whatever your heart is feeling, whatever your soul is feeling, you're not fighting it. You're not going against what you think is going to be good for you. And we have the Hermit card in the reverse. So you guys are in a place where... You know, to be honest, shit could have hit the fan with somebody. Um, I see a very strong earth energy in your reading, guys. So it could be Taurus Virgo or Capricorn that you were dealing with. But there's either an ending or some sort of change here. But you guys are going to a place where you're kind of alleviating any burden that you may have had. And with the Hermit card in the verse, you could have been moving out of a place of limbo. Or you could be moving forward with something, although you don't know all the facts about it. Okay. But there is a burden that's being released here. And guys, please keep in mind that all the energies here could be transferable. So it could be something that's happening to you or something that you could be doing to someone else. Okay. So let's see what sort of burden you're really, uh, releasing here. We have the Page of Wands in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So, honestly, you guys relieve a burden of fighting with somebody by telling yourself, look, I'm removing myself from this. This is a waste of time. 
So for some of you, this is just, you know, a heavy argument where you're like, okay, we both need time to cool off. I'm just going to walk away for a moment. Um, for others of you, it's walking away for good. You just don't want to deal with it. All right. Now, in your present moment, we have the Six of Swords. So you could be having a hard time moving away from someone. Um, this could also be a move sometimes as well, guys. So think of, you know, deployment for the military or having to do business in another state for a week or so. So there could be some sort of move that's difficult for you guys. So let's see why this is here. You have the Four of Swords being kind of you know at a hiatus really thinking about how you want to move forward to your next step and we have the queen of wands in the reverse so somebody here is kind of like at a standstill and there's a lot of anger here and it's a lot of passion um you know a lot of passion and anger so i really feel like someone was really voicing and arguing about something that really means a lot to them here guys all right but a huge sense of guardedness here but now, at the middle of this reading and the next card for your uh, present moment, we have the Six of Pentacles. So there is going to be the sense of balance that you're finding. With a new start. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups here. So for some of you, it's just duking out what you have to duke out. You know, we we got our throws in, so we understand each other. We had to go through that, and, you know, that's normal life, guys. Couples are going to argue. There's no avoiding that. Um, for others of you, maybe you moved away from something because of a new beginning that you have. Or maybe you're watching someone you walked away from having a new beginning. All right, and we have a fire energy here. So we have the Knight of Wands, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So a new start where you really feel good and really feel powerful with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay, very interesting. So the next card here is the Knight of Pentacles. So there's still this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy that is lingering here. Um, that could also be the approach that you're taking in regards to something new that's starting. Now with the Knight of Wands approach, it's going to be someone who's very, very passionate, you know, very good speaker, somebody that can really just, you know, sweep you off your feet. Okay, and then with the Knight of Pentacles, if it's not a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, then this is you methodically planning out how you're going to move forward, you know, taking the steps that you need to, but really thinking it out, being very methodical about it, taking your time with it. And we have the Queen of Swords. So with the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, um, this could also be someone who's just being very, very guarded. So maybe someone being very guarded towards you, you being guarded towards somebody else, maybe because of a new start that you're getting into or that they're getting into. Five of Wands. So somebody's really upset, guys. You know, um, for a lot of you, I feel like the situation could have to do with more than two people because I have the feeling of a person that wants to break away from something, um, but there's still part of their past that's kind of still lingering there. Okay. But yeah, arguments over this new start from what I'm feeling. Okay. Where somebody's just not happy. Moving forward, guys, into the future, we have the Five of Cups. Okay. With the Five of Cups... There's a loss that's being felt here by someone, you know, involved in all of this. Why is this Five of Cups here? Eight of Wands in the reverse. So someone's upset that they stopped speaking to a person or stopped putting in effort to be with the person. So that's where the unhappiness is coming from, okay? Whether it's you or a person that you're dealing with, there's a lot of worry here. There's a lot of anxiety here. And we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay, in the reverse. So this is going to be a loss of abundance. This could be, you know, a unit that was very happy in regards to like a family unit, but now um, just feeling like you lost a lot, but you guys are still being strong and resilient towards it and still moving forward if you need to. All right, Ace of Wands in the reverse. So honestly, I see something here that is being let go, guys, and you have to be strong even though it could be hard to let it go and something new coming in, okay? But something is definitely being given up on. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So here's what the problem is. There was someone that you guys were involved with where it could have been you or it could have been that other person, but somebody was just not as emotionally invested as the other person. So I feel like someone may have kind of, you know, gotten dragged along in something. So the person who had to end up walking away, I feel like they definitely got hurt in this. I feel like they were definitely, you know, a casualty of this love war. All right. But you guys do move forward in a way where you really, really gain control 
and I feel that it's you guys that stop talking to someone and we have the queen of cups up right whether you're male or female it's showing that yes this could be difficult but you're moving away from something that was a bit unconventional for you um, and in most of your cases it could be you that's leaving somebody that maybe you were kind of you know um, pulling them along the ride but not willing to go full you know fully into it with them so you know it, like I said, it could be transferable. If I was just reading for one person, I would say that they are leaving somebody and they're okay. Okay, even though it's difficult, they're okay with the direction that they're going in. All right, so let's do the separate advice now. So if you guys would timestamp that, I'd be so grateful. But we're going to do singles advice first and then we'll do couples advice at the end. Okay, give me three cards of advice. Four more cancer singles. Three cards of advice here. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Strength card in the reverse, Ace of Swords, okay. So let's see what's going to happen here. Alright guys, so I definitely see a fallout for sure due to promiscuity here, okay. We have the Two of Cups in the reverse, Lover's card in the reverse, Knight of Wands in the reverse, Fool card in the reverse. But there's going to be someone in this situation that feels so fed up because they feel like they've been putting so much into it. Um, but nothing is coming their way, you know, they're not getting what they feel that they deserve here So that's going to be something that's debilitating. So with the ace of swords now This could be getting into a new start, you know, and just cutting out bullshit from your past Or it could be moving forward with a person and just really wanting to talk in a clear way Cutting out any arguments or any misunderstandings that you had in the past But in this case, I feel like someone's just cutting another person out here Because they're not getting what they want or what they need Okay, let me clarify this with three cards. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? We have the World card in the reverse. Why is the Strength card here in the reverse? Temperance card. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Page of Swords. All right, so there's something here where somebody was just being fake and dishonest. Um, you know, there's someone who's just not ready to let something go, but they realize that they're not going to get what they need here. And although it could be difficult for you or difficult with the, you know, for a person that you're dealing with, I feel like your soul is at ease with you moving away from this, even if you're not. Okay, and we have to be very understanding that the need and wants of our souls and our hearts could seem different okay we can be completely hooked on a person and just say you know i want to be with this person right now let me reach out to them let me go see them today and your soul is like no 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 no. we don't want that we don't want that show like i got something better so there's something here that could be debilitating to you emotionally but your soul is relieved okay so someone here is just going to be very direct and say look we got to cut this out it's time to let it go okay so let's get into couples advice. Okay, so cu with couples, there's something that you were passionate about or that someone was passionate about with you that I see you guys ending, okay, in order to have a new beginning here with the full card. Now, this new beginning, it could be another person that comes in, 
okay? Or it could just be you going in a complete new chapter and just, you know, taking on the world all over again, you know, in the field of love, but not necessarily having anything new there, just knowing that it's a new start, okay? Now we have the Knight of Wands, so this could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, Ace of Swords in the reverse, Page of um, Swords in the reverse. So a lot of arguing, there could be a fire sign involved here. Let's clarify these cards. Okay. Yeah, guys, so from what this reading um, is showing, and remember, it could always be vice versa. Um, but I see the Cancer having someone else, being happy with that someone else, but there's someone that you need to let go of, and it's not going to be easy. They're going to have, you know, their two cents to put into this, okay? But yeah, um, it could be maybe a fire sign that you're going towards or, you know, moving away from. But it could be you guys that are juggling or, again, could be vice versa as well. Now, if you guys truly want to know for sure what's going on in your situation, because I don't want you keying any cars or throwing anyone's clothes out the window, uh, please definitely get a personal reading just to verify. But yeah, I see someone here accepting a new start and releasing a burden. So if there's something new that your heart truly wants, I, you know, I really see you guys going for it. Um, just try to be easy on the past, okay? Put yourself in their shoes if you're the one who's kind of moving away from things. All right, guys. So sending you love. Thank you so much for watching this video, for liking, for subscribing. Um, for those of you that would want to follow my Instagram, it is High Vibrations 44 And then for personal readings, guys, if you are interested, please listen to this whole bit. Um, so we are not, you know, under any sort of confusion. But with my personal readings, when you guys go on the website to book a personal reading, and everything is in um, my description, all the links for everything. But when you guys go to purchase a reading on my website, it does not allow me to offer my services without kind of like a calendar setup so it will ask you you know what day what time do you want to do this reading um, you can select absolutely anything it doesn't matter I don't go by it now in regards to the wait times for the readings um, if it is an emergency reading all right you'll get it within 48 hours excluding Sundays I do not work on Sundays okay I also have a one question option so you know quick 10 bucks if you guys want just to answer one question hey should I stay with this person you know things like that uh, you guys can go ahead and make that purchase I'll send it to you within 48 hours and you get a video just like this I am also on an app called instant go all right so if you guys want to hear from me quickly that's another option you could use so um, it's for iPhone users only right now but the link is in the description so uh, you could download the app and have my direct page now for the standard readings on my website the wait time is anywhere from three to four full weeks so if you guys cannot wait that time please go ahead and get the emergency reading that's why I put them there but yes please keep in mind that um, you know do not go by the calendar at all I promise guys the moment I'm able to take that off I definitely will because I know it could be super misleading but um, I write it everywhere on my page so as long as you're just reading everything before purchasing you'll know what you're getting yourself into okay but um yeah, that's about it. So if you guys need me, I'm here for you. I love you guys. And I will be back next with your general monthly reading for September. Take care, Cancer.